black ant. Step 1. For this fly, we're going to use a standard number 12 dry fly hook and some black 6 hot tying thread. You could vary this according to the color of the ant you're trying to tie, red or black. Let's cover up the shank a bit. Step 2. For this step, we're going to take a, a half decent sized clump of black deer hair. Deer is probably the best for this, or elk. Are you going to brush it out or just pull the fuzz out again? Either or, it depends on how long the hair is. It's a lot easier just to pull it out with your fingers on long hair. Snip the butts clean. I'm not using the tip of the hair here. Clean them up again. Tie them in about two thirds of the way down the hook shank. Securely in place. And work your way right down the body. Right on top of the hook. So you mean about a third down from the head? Yeah, about a third way down. And pull that directly over the portion of deer hair you just tied down. Those ends flare out. Now you've got a bit of a bubble or, or shell back. It's like the abdomen part of the ant. Right there. Now you've got a bit of a head. Step three. Now take and tie in. I'm going to grab a piece of white CDC. Tie that in as a bit of a wing. You only really want it extended about the distance of the body. We're not really using the whole hook shank length on this fly either. Like that so it's propped up so it looks like the wings on a flying ant. Step four. And take and whip finish. And again, you might not want to cut the deer hair till you're done your whip finish. Snip it clean. There you have it. Flying ant slash beetle.